Hello, all you YouTubers. I hope you're doing well. I uh, decided to use Delirium and look at some star maps to see where our friend Kama Elnan will be uh, in Austin, Texas. And I'm going to choose Austin, Texas right here. And you'll see the arrow change to Austin, Texas right there. And at the same time, I'm going to use Star Maps, which is Austin's Sky Maps right here. And we're going to go to September 15th, uh, 9 p.m. And it's going to show us a quick Star Map here. So we draw a line, imaginary across here. This is the kind of area we'll see. So let's have a look. Does that match up? Okay. Hercules, Hegemonis, Pisces to the north, Hercules, yeah. Okay. It's Hercules, okay, so Hercules is uh here. Light Lynx it looks like. There's Lynx right there. Okay. Or sir minor and Ursa major okay there's Ursa minor and this is Ursa major okay so what we're gonna have a look at is um, where is this particular comet on this day and can you see it and we're gonna have a look this is Austin Texas you can see it right here Austin Texas and all I'm gonna do now is take away the uh, the ground and let's see where uh, the comma actually is and uh, let's see let's see if we can take away the ground, there we go okay let's make sure that we have the comma in we're looking at the comma that we want to find let's make sure that we have it in there put it back in again, make sure that we're tracking the right object uh, 2010 and it's uh, X1 and uh, let's find it okay so again we see up here um, and let's, let's go in a little bit and take a look at this we came out um, this is a lot of what's going on around it but let's go right into it so we can see on September 25th in Austin, Texas, this is the kind of look you're looking at. Let's let's play it forward and uh, see what happens with this particular comment on that day. So it goes, here's the clock going forward. And, okay. There's the sunrise. Okay, so we can see that it looks like the sun is getting brighter. Um, one of the things I've heard and I've, I've kind of experienced this now is that it seems like the sun is still shining the same as it usually does. However, it seems a lot colder. Is it possible that this comet is siphoning uh, heat from the sun? and maybe uh, containing that heat within itself possible um, um, due to the fact that it's not a regular comet it's a hyperbolic comet um, and that would mean that the sun still looks the same in the sky however the heat that the earth gets is not the same because this particular comet is uh, pulling a lot of heat and uh, it's very interesting what the Virgo or Virgin actually has in our hands uh, I'll leave that up to you to figure out what that is, but it's very, very interesting that. Okay, so let's let's spin this around. Okay, so that's Austin. Let's go to uh actually let's play this out a little bit. Um let's play this one out. See what actually happens. So let's zoom out a little bit. That was a uh, sunset or sunrise. Okay, so it's gonna come back up. Twenty seventh. Came up again. Hmm. And it's gonna come up again in the east. 
east. Right cross sets in the west, down. Again, up. And what we see is that the comet. It's very interesting because this comet doesn't doesn't seem to be breaking up even no matter what prog what program it is. It's now it's going towards our head. So <coughs> that's awesome, Texas. Um, I wanted to have a look at. Um, let's go to San Francisco since that's on the west coast. San Francisco, yeah. Went to Brazil there. Let's go to uh, San Francisco. Uh, I'm not sure where it's gone. It should be more out here. Let's put it out there. Okay, so there's San Francisco. Um, let's <coughs> have a look at that. Here's the east. Uh, let's put the ground back in really quick. Okay, so there's our ground. Let's pull this back. Revert it back to the 20, uh, 25th, 26th. It's going down. Allen's going back down. Going back in time. Constellations moving. Going down. Going down again. Okay, so here's the 26th. Let's go back to our um, star maps and let's go to uh, San Francisco. And let's have a quick look at that. So we have Cetus, Taurus, Regal, Phoenix. Okay. second okay Let's see what Austin was doing <laughs> Let's have a look at Solarium a little bit more. Um, let's drop away the the sky or the ground. Okay, so this is San Francisco we're looking at, um, and let's go forward in that timeline. And it's gonna come up. There it is right there. Again, it's by the sun. Sunsets again, it's gonna rise. There we go, right beside the sun, coming around again. Okay, so that that could possibly be like again, anything could happen on these, these dates. So, yeah, and here's the 30th coming up. Now, it's very interesting. 
if if you were unaware of this particular comment or you didn't know about the phenomenon that was going on with this it could catch you like uh could catch you out you may not know about it and uh this is this is pretty good uh, so let's have a look at that Five. now brothers about times and dates we do not need to write to you for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night while people are saying peace and safety destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape but you brothers are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief you are all sons of the light and sons of the day we do not belong to the night or to the darkness so then let us not be like others who are asleep but let us be alert and self-controlled for those who sleep sleep at night and those who get drunk get drunk at night but since we belong to the day let us be self-controlled putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet but God did not appoint us to suffer wrath but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ he died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep we may live together with him therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing now we ask you brothers to respect those who work hard among you who are over you in the Lord and who admonish you hold them in the highest regard in love because of their work live in peace with each other and we urge you brothers warn those who are idle encourage the timid help the weak be patient with everyone make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong but always tries to be kind to each other and everyone else be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus do not put out the spirits fire do not treat prophecies with contempt test everything hold on to the good avoid every kind of evil may God himself the God of peace sanctify you through and through may your whole spirit soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ the one who calls you is faithful and he will do it brothers pray for us greet all the brothers with a holy kiss I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you so I, I found that very powerful um, especially the part where it says a thief in the night could this be the biggest message from God possibly ever given to our current time it's something that I've been thinking about the last couple Paul's of Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians chapter 1 it's something that I've been thinking about um, last couple of days um, if you were unaware you didn't know what was going on with this particular comment and one morning you get up and it ignites with the heat of the sun into like a blue star kachina via the Hopi prophecies I guess in a way it would take your mind like a thief in the night because you were unprepared for it you were maybe sleeping driving your uh, ostrich car upon railway tracks and even though many folks are putting the message out there that there's a train coming get off the tracks you uh, take it upon yourself to just stay in the tracks and not pay attention and disregard or couldn't be bothered to understand that there is something coming around the corner on the train tracks so it's just something I'm, I've been kind of looking at, thinking about, and uh, this program Stellarium has really changed my view on this comment a lot because of just the amount of information right here in this area is just unbelievable. So I just want to say I am Zion Zeus, and I uh, will put up another video pretty soon actually.